right when the fight was over, you took your gloves off. A lot of people started thinking that that could be a sign that you're hanging up your gloves, that you're leaving the UFC. Is there something in that sense? No, it was just my reaction at the time of taking my gloves off. There's, there's real no explanation for it. Retirement is, I'm not at that point yet. Even though I'm 36 years old. But I think that my career was that I've never lost too much. I've never taken too, too many blows. So that was just my reaction at the moment. The fight was over. So that was it. He counterattacked over the top. And I think I was a little bit dizzy. And he threw the same. And I think he threw it again. And evidently I fell in his guard. And he threw another blow in, the, in my guard. So... And I think at that moment, my reactions and my decisions at that time, defending, were, were a bit rocked. So that's what caused the guillotine. From, from what I can remember, that, that's what caused the guillotine was my reactions were a bit slow already. The impression that we had was that you needed a great sequence of wins to get to the belt and you ended up losing. Do you think that you need even more wins to convince the UFC to give you a title shot? It's hard to think about that right now, but yeah, it's tough to think about that right now. But unfortunately, in this sport, it, it could happen, and it happened tonight for me. I was very optimistic that I would get through Marlin again, but in this sport, everyone knows. Even you, reporters, and, and all of us, we know that it's hard to, to keep a, a fight, a win streak, regardless if it's knockouts or decisions. I took the chance, and it was bad for me, and it, it was bad for me tonight. Most of my trainers and, and my family members didn't want me to accept this fight. Maybe... Maybe they were right. They, they had their reasoning. Being a, a, a risky fight. And he beat me. He's a dangerous guy. But I consider myself a warrior. And I think that any challenge, I'll be ready for it. But looking back now, I could have also seen it from the other side and, and really wait for that fight. But we'll keep moving forward. Tonight was Marlon's night, and he's a great athlete, and we'll move forward. Your guy who's beat TJ, now you fought Marlon. If that fight happens between both of them, who do you think is going to win? Marlon's a pretty strong guy. He's a very compact athlete, very strong. TJ moves well, but I, I, don't, I can't say anything right now. They're two different guys. If I face... TJ, I, I would present another game against him, against Marlon tonight. It didn't work out. He changed his strategy. And unfortunately, and I haven't, until today, I haven't had much luck with rematches to this day. Keeping in line with that, Since Marlon won the fight, he's probably going to be the next one in line. But Cejudo is always in the mix. How do you see the future of the division? Cejudo will fight for the title or does Marlon need to have another fight? How do you see the division now? Man, to tell you the truth, it, it's complicated still. I think the criteria come, come directly from the boss. It's whatever he negotiates at the time. I think it's pretty complicated right now. When I accepted the rematch, which would be the main event tonight, when I signed 
for this fight. Dominic Cruz was would possibly be the next challenger, and I didn't want to wait for for Dominic for wait for Cody to come back, so I could be behind those guys anyway. And then Dominic got hurt. It opened up the the way for the winner of this fight tonight uh, between Marlon and I. And then a week before, we had Sahudu too. So it's it's really complicated, man. I don't know how to explain it. I want to relax and get back. And that's all I'm thinking about right now. If Moraes becomes a champion, would you ask for that challenge for, for Dana White to be able to challenge him again if he becomes a champion? Of course, we're, we're going to have a third fight, just like I'm going to fight TJ again one day, I think. Just like I said, we have I haven't had much luck in, in rematches against those guys, but it's funny that both rematches that I took two times there's no excuses I, lo I lost tonight there's no excuses I was well trained but it was in a phase when even even the media would ask me why I accepted the fight it wasn't a fight for the moment but I'm a warrior I, I consider myself an athlete I'm an a, a professional I have to fight but both rematches I had maybe were not a, at the right moment when I fought TJ at UFC 200, I had recently had surgery. So we'll keep moving forward. Is there a name in the division that with this loss that you could come to face again? There's two more events this year in Brazil. Would you like to fight in Curitiba again to get back? Or would you like to wait a little bit more and be able to relax? I think that I'm in the top five still. I think there's a few names. Not at the moment right now, but I think there's a few names, a few athletes that would definitely could be my next opponents. Maybe in the top ten or, or somebody who's coming on a good streak. Cody's coming back now too I don't know when Dominic's coming back so it could be the winner of Cody Garbrandt and Pedro Munoz I fought Pedro before I beat him it would be Cody I don't have any names in mind right now but, but a guy in the top 5 top 6